Hello everyone, welcome back to the 4Play channel. It's Bella. I'm Jace. Before we get into today's video, make sure to leave this video a like. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss whenever we post a new video. And leave a comment if you had any questions about this specific video or any video you'd like to see from us in the future. This is part two of New York City vlog. So there's three parts of this. So if you haven't seen the first one, we'll have it linked down below. But we're going to start on day four of New York City at Christmas time. <laughs> we really just sat in our Airbnb for a majority of the beginning of the day and all we did was work and so we did that and then we got ready to go to Junior's and Junior's is like a diner type mm -hmm. of place it was really cool because it felt like um almost like we were transported back in time a little bit and it was Christmassy and apparently you're supposed to get the cheesecake there we personally liked the sandwiches and the, the actual entrees more than the cheesecake, but it was so fun. It's called Junior's, and it's supposed to like the go-to spot for like New York cheesecake, but we want dinner as well. So we're going to a lifestyle party tonight, which we're really excited about, so we'll tell you more about later. But first, we're gonna order food, eat, and then get cheesecake. The more you eat it, the better it tastes. After we left juniors, we met some of our friends for drinks. This is kind of like we talked about in the last video, but the lifestyle community is so wonderful. And so we had some friends who live in the New York City area that we met on Bliss Cruise two years ago. We saw them again last month on Bliss. And then we were ready to hang out with them in New York. So it's just so cool to make all of these friends kind of all over the world and be able to hang out with people. So we met up with our friends for drinks and they had invited us to this party that they had told us about. And so then we went to our first lifestyle party in New York City. So we are here at The Loft. Mm -hmm. we, we're we're going to put it down here so you know exactly where to go. But it is a new lifestyle club here in Brooklyn. Oh. We are currently in Brooklyn. It's a Christmas party right now. But we, Since we're traveling here and then going to California for family stuff and not really doing much lifestyle stuff really, we didn't like bring lifestyle clothing. So I mean, it's just going to be good. We're boring for everybody else. Our friend is in like a really cute... Costume and stuff, but anyways, it's super fun too because, like, we're here with like friends. We know like four people at this party that From live Liz in New York, so like it's so cool when you travel because you get to meet all these people. We know about this party because of because of friends. I'll let you guys tomorrow how the party goes. That itself was really cool. It was up these little stairs, like a loft. There wasn't an actual balcony or anything that you can go outside of, but it had such a beautiful, amazing view of yeah. what I believe is the Brooklyn Bridge. It was in Dumbo. I, I yeah, we don't, the area, yeah. The area of Brooklyn was Dumbo. <laughs> we don't really know the New York City terminology that well, but it was really cool. The one thing that I personally didn't like about it was just, there was only two bathrooms. And so it was kind of, it wasn't a huge club or anything, but there were quite a bit of people. And so the line in the bathroom took a long time, but you always did get to hang out with people in the line. And we, some of our favorite memories happened in that line, but. Yeah, and it was also nice. It was an on-premise club. So they had around eight beds if you wanted to use them. They also had a ton of great music the whole night. The mm -hmm. dancing was fun. It was just such a fun night. The next morning we got up, we were taking the train to our next stop and we stopped by Grand Central. So we wanted to make sure to see Grand Central Station while we were there. So we stopped there. That day we really wanted to spend the day in the Hudson Yards or the Hudson area. Again, sorry, we don't know the right terms, but it was really cool. We walked the High Line Park and we went to the Chelsea Market. Chelsea, we are at the no, we're about to go to the Highland. We stopped by the vessel. This thing is crazy. Yeah, it's so you can't cool. Can't walk up there anymore. You used to be able to because you see all the way up there. They're all stairs. You used to be able to do that. But I heard that people were there up at the top. So yeah, you can't do that anymore. But like this place is so cute. Yeah, it's like, cool. There's, like so many Christmas trees. You can see like behind us. It's so Christmassy and it's like the perfect like Christmas weather. It's really cold and chilly, yeah. but not like way too cold. Yeah. So there's actually Santa Con going on today. So after we go to the High Line walk around there, we're gonna go to Midtown to go see what Santa Con is like. 
So we never updated you guys either on the party last night. It was super fun. We just kind of sit until what, three ish? Yeah, I got it so, super home. And we just hung out there till like three. We just danced a ton. It was, I don't know, it was such a fun night. Like, it was so fun. And it's really cool to be able to experience a lifestyle in different places. Because it all feels the same, but it all feels a little different. Yeah. I don't know. It was, just, it was a really fun party. And I'm, I'm super glad we got to go. And the lifestyle friends that you make are so amazing. Like, actually, the people that we're going to hopefully be able to hang out at SantaCon today. It's going to be really crazy busy. So hopefully, we're going to be able to find each other. But yeah. they're actually from the lifestyle. We met them on Bliss Cruise. And so... And they, <laughs> they told us about the party last yeah, night. They told, yeah. And, like, they, we drove with them to the party last night. Like, people are just... I don't know. The people are so great. I know. So cool. Yay! New York has been amazing yeah. so far. Like Christmas in New York, definitely a bucket list item that we think you need to do. Yeah. We are here at the High Line. This is a park in Chelsea in New York City. Funny story, so whenever we were here with some friends, this is what, eight years ago? We were still in college, this is like 2014. Um, the night before we went out, I think we went to like Jay-Z's club or something like that. And I mean, I got up and I was, so we were, had all plans to go here the next day. And I was so hungover. Like I was throwing up all day. I literally couldn't get out of bed and then nobody came. I was like, go to the highway without me. Please. And it was our last go. day. Yeah. And it was our last day and I felt really bad, but now oh, we're here. We're really wondering how much these cost. Those are insane. Walking like half a mile, three fourths of a mile now. We didn't miss. You didn't miss out on that much. It's like cool, but it's not anything like crazy. Yeah, like I don't feel like it's bad now that we're here that we missed out that one day. And it was in the summer whenever we were here last time, so we've been so miserable walking around. It's nice right now because it's cold. When we were there, there was something called SantaCon going on. So SantaCon, we didn't actually participate in, but it's when people dress up like Santa or in Christmas clothing, there were a lot of elves, stuff like that. And then there are specific bars that are part of it. And then you can sign up with your ticket and then you can hop bar hop at all these places with so many people that look like Santa. Um, it looked pretty chaotic from what we saw and whenever we were there with our friends we didn't again par actively participate but the lines were so long to get in so we're getting closer to where santa con is and look we spotted our first santas looking at places where the santa con was going to be which is going to be in midtown and then i was just like zooming in and then i saw something that said harry potter i was like what the heck what is that i need to go and here it is and i don't know what it is oh, oh there it is Let's so we're in line for harry potter right now it's like right behind us actually and we want to go see the Flatiron Building, which is this building, but it's under construction. The Harry Potter store was actually way cooler than I thought it was going to be. I thought that it was yeah. just going to be like a merchandise store, which it was, but they had so many things that were more interactive. So it felt more like one of the stores that you would be at a Universal Studios yeah. or like the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, those kind of places. And all the merch was so like spot on and so cool. We didn't buy anything because I don't need anything, but it was so cool to go through. Tell them what you just said. I said I maybe it's not working because you're a squib. No magic. That's so disrespectful. You got to work. Told you guys, magic. I'm no squib. But then we met our friends who were participating in SantaCon. They were the same ones who invited to the party the night before. So it's cool because then you have the friends you could do lifestyle stuff with, but then you go hang out in normal Santa attire too. And so that was really fun. And then we hung out with them for a little bit, and that's where we ended our night. Next day, we went to MoMA. We're currently walking to MoMA, which is Museum of Modern Art. We both want to come here for what, like years now? But it is raining, so we got umbrellas. Here they are, the MoMA milkers. We got to see so much cool stuff. We got to see some of Frida's work. We got to see Starry Night by Van Gogh. But one really cool one that happened that we didn't know it was going to happen, but there's a painting by Picasso called, I think, Ladies of Avignon or something like that. Probably said that wrong. But when we were in Barcelona, we went on a walking tour and they showed us like where that place was that inspired that painting. And then the painting happened to be there 
when we were there. So it was just cool, like full circle moment, but MoMA is definitely a to do if you like art at all. We are currently walking down Fifth Avenue because on the weekends they close Fifth Avenue so that people can walk in cars. During Christmas time. Yeah, yeah. not all the time. <laughs> the Rockefeller tree right there on accident. We just passed it. Fun. We wanted to go to Macy's so we could see all of the Christmas decor and on the way there We saw the New York City Public Library and that night before one of our friends recommended us to go there And so we went in wasn't a disappointment at all. It was really cool So we did make it to Macy's we wanted to see the Christmas floor which was supposed to be a really cool thing So we went there we made it to Macy's. Apparently it is the largest store. The largest store ever or just like the largest Macy's? Eighth floor. Just be Christmas magic in there. I imagine this is where like Elf, Elf worked. Is, yep. Was it actually? No, that's what I imagined too though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, level eight. Santa Land. Seasonal. We gotta find it. So it's by reservation only. We can't really decide if this is exactly what we saw online because it's like a a place that has Santa inside so you can take pictures. And it is free, but it is by reservation only, so you have to make a reservation online. And the line which we did not know. Huge. I don't know if I want to wait that long. Well, I thought there was a section that we saw in a video that looked like it was just a bunch of Christmas stuff. And that way, I looked up online, that looked different. So we're gonna like go to another floor and see if we can find the section we thought we were going to. We have hope. We found somebody, and they said that it was on the ninth floor. So we're taking this escalator again. again up two floors and we're really hoping that we find a Christmas area. This is it, we found it. It's on the ninth floor of Macy's, not the eighth floor. Look, Christmas everywhere. Right, we went to McDonald's, I got an iced coffee here, which the McDonald's iced coffees in New York don't taste great. So I'd probably skip out on that next time, but it was only a dollar. And then I got a large fry and we just had that and now we're going to get Jason 99 cent pizza. I wanted a dollar slice of pizza. Here we go, the New York experience. All right, we did it. We got the pizza. I have so, one dollar a slice, yeah, no tax. Oh God, did you see that <laughs> yeah, yeah. red is a light on my face? Yeah, so it's, the cheese ones are 99 cents each. Yeah, go for it. So that's not bad for you Nice. We then walked to Times Square. We weren't planning on it, but we were so close. We were like, well, why not? And we're so glad that we did because it actually was rainy a little bit and it made the reflections on the ground with the lights almost duplicated. And again, it was like one of those magical New York mm -hmm. City moments, we feel like, especially during Christmas time. You could hear Christmas music and just all the lights and the billboards. We had a really good time. It makes it feel so like magic, I feel like, because it's it's reflecting off the ground and it's just so much more light because of the reflections. I don't know, the it's car. Just, the it's car, so it's New so New York, it's so cool. In New York, concrete <laughs> jungle, where dreams are made of, of. <laughs> that thing you can do. That is the end of vlog two. We saw a couple more days in New York, so we have one more vlog coming out. But thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you have any questions about it, make sure to drop those down below in the comments. Make sure to subscribe so you never see a video. Make sure to leave this video a like, it really helps us out. And we will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.